All right, so you know I'm always looking for cool stuff to show you. And right now I got some cool stuff to show you. Look at this. You know what you call this? This is uh, this is San Francisco cobble right here. Not to be confused with Afghanistan. Um, now, this material is not from San Francisco. It's, it's from generally like the Boston area. And these ships that would... Uh, come out to California uh, apparently they needed ballast and they would actually load the ships up so that they were stable with all of this this material and the streets of San Francisco were paved uh, with this material and uh, I'm not sure what they sent back to back east but this is when you had to go around the horn uh, down in South America there's no Panama Canal think about that for a second that's crazy like gold rush 1848, 1849, uh, that's what they were doing. But, uh, so the streets, most all streets in San Francisco used to be this material. And one by one by one by one, all the streets got ripped up, you know, and replaced with asphaltic concrete. Um, but this material, they'll still be ripping this stuff up. Um, and it's a sort of a prevalent material here, even though if the true, if you factored in the true cost of mining this stuff from the East Coast and bringing it to San Francisco without the Panama Canal being in place, I think it was just when they had sail ships, right? Back then, it's like, I don't think they had, like, engines on those ships. I'll have to look into that. But anyway, um, it's a pretty remarkable story on how all these cobbles got here in such huge numbers. But like I said, now this material is somewhat readily available when they rip out streets and you can find it for sale often and then people they have creative uses for it this is one of the more fun creative uses i've seen where you know you've got your standard little patio porch sorry for the lighting this is what it looks like in shadow this is what it looks like in sunshine this is what it looks like in between <laughs> which is impossible to see because the camera can't adjust for that um, but it's used a lot like how brick is used uh, but in this instance here, I really love the way they use these historic blocks with this curved uh, step system here. And it's a real ingenious design. It's a little bit dangerous because if you're walking down here, you expect there's supposed to be a three-foot landing in front of these stairs for the stupid people or the drunk people. <laughs> or maybe, you know, like when I get old <laughs> but, and, and blind. Um, so they did violate that a little bit, but, you know, it's kind of like you should be watching out for where you're walking anyway. Um, so they, uh, that is a, a code violation, but sometimes, you know, you know look the other way because it looks so cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, so here are the steps. Beautiful serpentine pattern right here. Um, and uh, look, here's a blast mark. They, they would blast this rock. And you can see this was... Uh, the, the the charge right here and it blew out in this direction and uh that's the way they would dislodge all this rock it looks like there might be another blast pattern right here um it's a very historic stone though uh so when you see this in san francisco i want you to think back of uh you know the the journey of the stone from quarry to uh finished product and in this case this was moved from its finished product somewhere in the street and ultimately used, uh, you know, in this beautiful residential little housing section here. And that's pretty much uh, what I got to show you. It's time to uh, go to the next job, plant some more palm trees. And if you need palm trees, you should call these guys right here. They're really good. <laughs>